Arsenal Fan TV standing outside of Hawthorns. Time to get into the player ratings and um, ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not very good today. Uh, Going to go first of all, Petr Cech. I suppose I have to give him a, a six. He had nothing to do apart from pick the, the, the ball out of the goal, you know, for the two goals. That's the type of game it was. It, they didn't really have many chances, West Brom. He had nothing to do. So I'm going to give him a six out of ten. He didn't really do anything wrong. Um, let's go now to right back Hector Bellerin. Not a very good game for Bellerin. As a matter of fact, you could see... He kind of lost his rhythm from not being playing and being out injured. Uh, I'm going to give Bellerin today uh, a 4 out of 10. Thought he could have done much better on the second goal by allowing that cross to get in. And even earlier on in the game, gave the ball away a couple of times. Very uncharacteristic for him. Uh, in the middle, Per Mertesacker, very poor today, I felt. Um, you know, amongst one of the worst games he's played this season. You know, he wasn't winning headers just seemed slow, just, he just weren't on the pace today and I'm going to have to give him a, a 2 out of 10. Uh, Lauren Koscielny, especially considering what's happened with Koscielny recently, um, with the whole thing in Paris and we know he's, he's had a tough time of it recently, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10, he didn't really do much wrong today, uh, tried a couple of times to make little runs to make things happen. Um, we move over now to Nacho Monreal, again on the goal that cross that keeps coming over, you know, to that side, you know, you've got to deal with that. And I thought Monreal could have done better with that. Apart from that, he'd had a decent game. I'm going to give him a five out of 10. Uh, Francis Cochrane was playing very well until he had to go off. Uh, I'll give him a five out of 10, hoping that he's not out too long. His replacement who came in, Mikel Arteta, not the greatest of games. I mean, I felt he was very unlucky for, uh, when he gave away the free kick that led to their goal. I, from where I stood, it didn't look like a free kick. I'd have to have a look at it again. But his defending on both goals was suspect. Going to have to give him a three out of 10. Uh, Flamini, who then came on when he then got injured, um, thought it didn't do much wrong. Uh, Going to give him a five out of 10. Uh, moving out onto the wings now. Kieran Gibbs playing as a makeshift left winger today. Was okay, um, you know, did a job, kept the balance okay, but didn't really offer much um, in an attacking sense, really, to me. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Alexis Sanchez, I thought today, was very bright. When you consider all the travelling he's had to do, he was probably our brightest player. I thought he, you know, he was trying to make things happen, was tireless today. So I'm going to give Alexis a 7 out of 10. Sani Quazola. Again, he was trying to make things happen. I thought very unlucky with a penalty. Can't fault him. Although, when he stepped up to take it, I was kind of thinking to myself he was going to miss it. The body language didn't look right. Going to give Corzola a 5 out of 10. Mesut Ozil, great assist for the goal. Again, in, he was trying to make things happen. He was trying to play balls through. Other players just didn't seem on his wavelength today. Uh, Mesut Ozil, 6 out of 10. Olivia Giroud today, apart from scoring the goal, which great, another goal for Giroud, did nothing really. Didn't make any runs, didn't hold it up, just didn't really do much today. And despite him scoring a goal today, I think I'm going to have to go with giving him five out of ten. Uh, the manager that we always get asked to rate, got to rate the manager today, five out of ten. We Actually, no, four out of ten. We're supposed to come to West Brom. I saw a very poor West Brom team out of there today, and that's not taking anything away from them. They played well today, they contained us, but player for player, we're supposed to come here and beat West Brom, and we didn't. So bad, bad three points dropped. So four out of 10 for the manager today. What do you guys make, out of, make of it? Uh, leave your comments below. Let us know how you rated the players. Maybe you might have given them a bit. Oh, hold on, hold on. My man over there just reminded me, I forgot Joel Campbell. And that's probably because he was so bad why I forgot Joel Campbell. Mr. Sitter in the game, Joel Campbell, sorry today. If you're trying to kick that door down to get into the team, you've got to play better than that. Two out of ten for Joel Campbell. Thank you, man. <laughs> Two out of ten for Joel Campbell. I've got a smile on my face for inside. I feel really hurt. That's a bad loss. I, I'm going to have to disagree with Claude again. I think 
I, and, and said what Mo said. It's, it's, it's just one of these days. It's, it's disappointing. I mean, he's calling me, he's slagging off Mikel, but I don't think you could do anything about the own goal. It just happens. That's one of those things. I mean, 